four. He needs to bump a 16-8-1-0. Green flag for the deuce of Lichty. I have to admit, Michael Barnes did not do as well as I thought he might. In the field. Right now in the ninth spot, he could get bumped. There's the pole, 16-4-2-8. Lichty with a 16-4-2-8. That bumps. Jeff Locke, Kelly Miller is on the bubble. Second lap, 16-285. Lichty a 16-285. On the track right now, double O Joe, Joe Gosick. Three heat race wins, two feature wins. Last year's track champion, he's in the Birds Do It Best Home Center. Eight, three, six, eight. One of the best drivers was never won a feature event out of Oswego, Pat Lavery. But I tell you, he has pounded on the door. He's practically beat it down, but can't get through it. Lavery from Oswego, sponsored by Lighthouse Lanes, Big Dipper and Bush's Auto Sales, the Double Deuce, number 22. He'll go on the clock next time. He had a 16-5-6-6 in practice. Track record, 16-2-1-2, set by... Doug Didero a couple of years ago. On the clock now, here is Lavery. On the bubble, Bobby Bond with a 16-7-0-7. White flag, Lavery's first lap. 16-3-1-3, that is outside pole right now. Can he get a tenth? Can he get 11 hundreds? 11 hundreds is a new track record, a time for the record. 12 hundreds is the record. Checkered flag is out. Can Lavery do it? No! 16, 2, 4, 2. He missed by three one hundredths of a second. He is on the pole, but he did not get the record. Now, the last shot at the record. This is Otto Sitterly. Sitterly in the number seven from Canada Harry, the current 2012 track champion. Well, we had a really quick car all day long, and after I watched Mike uh, Lichty run a two, uh, I said, well, I think the pole's kind of out of the question, so I said, if we can get ahead of these guys that are uh, the, a big group of guys were running uh, fives and sixes, I said, I think we can, we can do that and uh, get ahead of those guys, and Somehow we put a good lap together and got the pole. Felt like a pretty good lap. Uh, I didn't think it was a two. I, I thought, you know, we ran a five in practice, so I knew what we were up for, and it, it was a little bit better than that, but I didn't think it was a two. It was a very cool feeling. Uh, last time we were on the pole, it was a uh, qualify in the morning, and uh, we ran in the afternoon. It was one of the rain delay things, so I was only on the pole for about two hours. So uh, this, this one, this one, we got two days to enjoy it, so this is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, How do you like the asphalt here at Oswego? I love this place. I was coming here since I was a kid and came up until the time we started running dirt cars. Um, I just love this place. It's a great track, great fans, great drivers. It's just really, really special. We weren't the fastest um, in any of the practices, but our car was consistent. It was real good tonight. Uh, I think it was better on the long runs. I, just, I was hoping he'd catch that lap traffic and I'd have the chance, but yeah, we're, we're about the same speed after a few laps in a run. How much different is it for you racing on the asphalt here versus the dirt? I don't know. My car's a lot cleaner. It's real. <laughs> it's nice. How, uh, what, uh, with your tires and your setup, do you have to change a whole lot to go back to the dirt now? Yeah, we'll have to change everything. Uh, my next race is Syracuse, so we're going to try and keep it similar. So we'll see how it goes. It started going away there at the end. Uh, come to find out, we actually have a brake dragon on the right rear. Um, not to mention, right now, the right rear. It was a brand new tire when we started this race, and it's bald right now. <laughs> I can see that right on that tire there. Is that part of the reason why it maybe fell off a little bit? It might have been. I don't know. How do you like the asphalt here at Oswego? What would you say to somebody that wanted to come race up here? It's fun. The track in the corners is a little rough, but other than that, this track is a lot of fun. I mean, I love dirt, and I've been racing dirt for years, but I'd come back and do this again.
Cameron Rowe moved into a new car and Chris Ted gave me a call. He was looking for someone that might be interested and uh, I know it's a great car. This car has won Classic before, so uh, we thought we'd give it a shot. Yeah, I was a little surprised to be honest. I mean, we were decent in practice. Uh, we put stickers on for the time trial. I wasn't sure if that was a good call or not. I was hoping to scuff them a little, but the uh, car wasn't great, but it was definitely fast. I mean, I could mash it and the car just hooked up. No, nope, uh, we struggled mightily the second half of the year and just decided to call it quits. Um, we're going to rework that car, maybe build a new one for next year. We'll be back.